I would like to follow up on the issue of uh, climate change and what the central bank uh, can actually do. So um, when you were uh, describing the more concrete measures you have in mind, it was quite obvious from my perspective that uh, the core of monetary policy was not mentioned. So the refinancing operations, uh, which are so critical, uh, they are basically determined by the risk assessment. So therefore my question is, will you put pressure on the rating agencies you use or your own risk assessment measures when it comes to the refinancing operations that they take climate change into account in the necessary way? And second, when it comes to the open market operations such as in your QE program, will you end with the bias which we have at the moment? So the automotive industry has 2.16% of the total bonds, but in the QE program of the uh, ECB, it had 6.84%. Very similar for energy. Total bond in the EU market, 2.55. QE share of the ECB, 9.54. And uh, quite the opposite for the renewables, total of the bonds 0 0.18 and zero purchases by the ECB, all based on 2017 data. So um, will you also take the climate change agenda into the core of monetary policy? Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your question. First of all, on the, uh, on the actual rating, uh, Certainly, it is critically important that all rating agencies include as part of their ratings the climate change risk. Uh, that is not something that should be secluded to specific uh, sort of EHG um, uh, certified rating agencies. And certainly, I would hope that the, the three big, well-known uh, rating agencies move in that direction. And if they ask me my views, I will tell them just as I'm telling you now. Um, Second, um, the, the refinancing programs that we, we, we are going through, that we will go, be going through uh, in, in the future. That, for the moment, operates on the basis of the market neutrality principle, which has been highly debated, which, is, uh, which has different interpretations in different corners, and it is certainly an area where we need to have a debate and where as part of the strategy and as part of the review of the instrument and the tools that we use in order to deliver on the mandate, we have to ask ourselves the question of the appropriateness of the proportionality and of the inclusion of climate change risk as part of the determining factors. Yes. But I'm not, you have noticed that whenever it comes to the strategic review, I'm particularly attentive not to pass irrevocable wise judgment on you know, what it will be, because it's a matter that needs to be debated with all members of the governing council. The framework has to be agreed with all of them. And no, I'm not running a single woman shop, no. This is a collective uh, endeavor, and one where the dialogue with you all and with civil society and with experts will actually uh, improve on the outcome. And I very much look forward to that.